Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? Why, yes, Seb. Yes, it was. Um, thank you for giving me control of the game back. Um, yeah, so this is kind of interesting. Get like a static camera angle. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Evil Within. When we last left off, we discovered some interesting things about this guy called Ruvik and the good doctor. Apparently, they're creating some kind of brain machine to connect brains. It's the Matrix, right? It, you know, just without the robots. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of had a bad dream. Can I be released from my cage now? Let go of me! Let go of me! You alright in there, fella? No, no, not that way. You alright? You alright, pal? <laughs> Maybe we don't want to be looking in there. Please refrain from agitating the others. Sorry, nurse, but I think he was, um... <clears throat> Agitating himself. I was merely curious. Alas, we you should know well what happened to the curious kitty. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks, nurse. You always uh, perk me up. Anyway, we've got like a handful of keys to spend. Aye, lad, we do. Three of the blighters. Okay. Oh. Not a bad draw. Okay, well, you know. Ugh, there had to be a turkey behind one of the doors, I suppose. Alright, not bad. Well, let's grab some med kits and I suppose give ourselves a shot in the ass whilst we're here. There we go. Um, They're not the... No, they're the electric ones, aren't they? Yes. Well, we've nearly found half of the keys <clears throat> and we're kind of half-ish sort of through the game so <clears throat> maybe god damn it my throat <coughs> don't drink citrus juice kids apparently it's lethal god damn stick to your energy drinks and alcohol it's safer I think um yep yeah, so um I think we've got all of them I'm not 100% sure hey nurse <clears throat> hello She's not very talkative today. Oh, whoa. Would you would you look at that? Memories are vague things indeed. Yes, yes they are. It can be easy at times for memories <clears throat> to be distorted by others. Yeah. That is why they must be cherished. I see. Uh nurse, there is a roach problem here. You don't see that? Maybe that's the medication that we're taking. So, let's have a little look here. So, we have a young boy with his face open. Um, a, a, a mother, I'm guessing. A, a sister slash daughter, I suppose. Wearing a red dress with very long black hair. Hmm, curious. Okay, it probably means nothing. Uh, let's have another look at this picture. <coughs> Hunt shredding terror. And now, now we're back in the actual hospital. You look as if you'd seen a ghost. Well, I mean, kind of, but not really. I've seen a brain in a jar. <gasps> I've said too much. All right, Rubik, be seeing you. A state fire. A state fire claims children. Daughter badly wounded. Where were the parents? Children playing in barn in Victor uh, Victorano Estate. Burned in fire. Daughter, 17, left in vegetative state. Source of fire undetermined. Well, I know what happened. Yes, these rich toffee bastards. Yes. That's not a great angle to look at this photo is it uh, or this painting I should say so there's the daughter left in a vegetative state 
parent one, parent two. Yep. Alright. Sure, that's probably not important to the story. <clears throat> now, is there anything else here now that we've transitioned back to the real world? Well, I say real world. I mean, we're in a giant brain machine. <gasps> I said too much. Well, it's pretty obvious, to be fair. Uh, right. And it's also pretty obvious that that's Ruvik's family. And Laura, the big spider lady that we burnt to death, doesn't like fire. Because she was uh, burnt to death. <gasps> I've said too much. Well, this is curious. Hmm. Very queer things going on tonight. No, no, that way. Not that way? You sure? Hmm. Well, it looks like Ruvik is trying to lure us in. You know, he's a bit of a penis like that, but that's okay. That's fine. We can handle penises. We've been doing it for years. Okay. So, this way, I guess. Oh, hello. That sounds dodgy, though, because that makes it sound like plural, multiple penises. Hmm. Right. There we go. Come on. There we go. Right. Now. Uh, this is very curious. Is there. Can we go down there? Uh, actually, I. Kind of can't remember. Whoop. <gasps> what a waste of grenades! Oh, who cares? Okay, maybe. Oh, something's happening when we get close to here. Ah, it's uh, offering us to pick that up. I have shamed myself and wasted a valuable grenade. What's that? Grenades aren't that good. Ah, right, cool. What else is that glinting? Or is that just aliasing? Ah, it's just aliasing on the uh, bushes there. All right, well, let's keep going. Times are wasting. Monsters to be wasted. You know how it goes. Oh, hello. Evening. I would say there's some gentleman cooler out in the woods, but I think that might be us. Oh, hello. Hmm. Wait, I've seen that house somewhere. Yes, yes, pretty sure it's from Raccoon City. <sighs> nah, coincidence, I'm sure. I've never been here before, but... Oh, I have, and you have as well. It's been a considerable amount of time. But I can assure you, Sab, we have absolutely been here before. History does have a habit of repeating itself, you see. Uh, now, is there any goodies outside the house? Well, barrels always have a chance to be goodies. It kind of feels like a small chance, but it's a chance. And, uh, you know, any kind of leg up on the old comp... Really? It was just... Um, Alright. Cool. I didn't actually realise that that was a smashable object. There was one of those back there. Ooh, crows. Can't shoot the crows, though. Well, we can, but there's no point. Okay. All this exercise Sab's getting, and he's not getting any healthier. Strange. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Waste of time. 
Come on, sir. Breathe, man. Breathe. I think being stuck inside this brain machine is the least of your problems if your cardio health has regressed to such questionable levels. Yeah, maybe. Is there a key? Ah, there's some bullets here. Which is the ammunition that we actually need. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Remember that grenade we wasted? Eh, it came back. Must be one of those Australian grenades. Ooh, very nice. Shotgun shell. Brain juice. Lovely, lovely. Alright. No doggos to shoot in the face, though. Just curious for a Resident Evil game. Made by the Resident Evil creator, no less. Ah. Ooh. See, what's that? We had, like, maybe 10, 15 containers. I think, what, we had two items? Pretty, pretty low drop rate there. Uh, now... Before we head inside, I move my drink away so I can actually see the timer. Uh, right, was there actually any keys outside here? Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm not sure if there's keys out here. I don't know. Oh yes, I remember this place. Oh. Oh. The cruelest intentions. Welcome to chapter nine, everybody. Well, now we're gonna have a little squiz around. And from what I can remember, actually this isn't a very long chapter either, is it? Am I remembering that correctly? Am I? I don't know. I don't think this is a very long chapter. So, we've got a door. If I remember correctly, we need to fill this door with blood. Or a close approximation of blood, anyway. So, this takes us back. Crimson Post newspaper clipping. Tragic fire kills child. Nanny in Crimson City. February 11th. Ah. My dad's birthday. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, a fast-spreading house uh, fire took the lives of a young girl and her babysitter yesterday afternoon in the Park Ridge neighbourhood of Crimson City. Lily... Costianos, age five, and her babysitter, uh, Gionetta Flores, 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single family home. Lily's parents, both detectives for the KCPD, rushed to the scene but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters several hours, uh, but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but initial findings point to faulty electric wiring. Hmm. Yeah. Well. So we've got a rich kid and his daughter dying in a fire. Well, technically the rich kid didn't die in the fire, but... And we have our main character's child dying in a fire as well. But did she, though? Did she? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we shall never know. Or maybe we need to play the second game to find out. Let's go. See if there's any more collectibles. I knew it. You knew it? What? Back here again? <gasps> Don't you think you should use your green key? Yes, yes, hey, now sh listen near you. That is a very sore, tetchy subject, all right? I mean, what, why would you even say that to me? 
Honestly. Missing Ruben Victoriano. Beloved son of wealthy Victorian fa uh, Victoriano family has not been seen since a fire at the family estate. Well, curious. Oh, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely artwork here. Hmm. Wonderful, in fact. <clears throat> Bodies found near countryside estate. Bodies found, yep. Identification could take weeks. All mutilated bodies found outside of the Victorian estate. The bodies appear to have had various crude surgeries performed on them. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Boy goes missing after a fire. Bodies start appearing. Hmm. Maybe he became a zombie. Yes, a... a mm. A crazed doctor zombie, yes. Instead of eating your brain, does surgery on your brain. I mean, maybe it's a good kind of surgery. You know, maybe he was doing his best. Let's not judge, guys. Come on. He could have been doing his best. All right. So. I'm sure there's a green, uh, a green, a key in here. Maybe. Mansion dining room note. I finally come to recognize the way. Uh, the portal. I finally come to recognize the way. The portal to a new world. The details are all there. I uh, have been right in front of my nose. I'm appalled and incensed that I did not see them sooner. The specific process to break down a human psyche, to obliterate it and give myself free reign, is so obvious. And now that I see it, now that what I have to do is right in front of me, I can feel as if there's nothing else I can do. I can have everything I sought, everything I've lost, but I just need resources. Jimenez, that cretin will finally begin to earn his keep. Mmm, Jimenez, our good doctor friend. What could that naughty little sausage be up to, eh? Well, this fire hasn't been used in a while, has it? Alright, Ruvik. I need to just stumble around out there. We're coming. Okay, well, let's take a little walk through. Evening! No, no one. Now, whenever this happens, it means that Ruvik is coming for us. Oh, we can't kill Ruvik. <laughs> yes, we were stuck behind a bomb. We can't kill Ruvik. Um, so, we just need to get away from him, basically. And we have to do all that again, don't we? Alright. Alright. Oh, Okay. Once more with feeling. Now, I'm pretty sure when he spawns is random. Pretty sure, anyway. I think it can be like literally. Ah, we still only have such a small amount of torches and by small amount of torches I mean we have one not really that fantastic to be honest uh, I'm not 100% sure if he's going to come to life oh we have an axe though axe is always fun no we want the axe thank you we don't want to hide. Although, funny enough, hiding's actually 
Oh. Control. I was going to say hiding is actually quite a good shout. Except, apparently, when it isn't. Right. Third time's a charm. Now, never really been a fan of enemies that you can't defend against. Oh. How interesting. Two of them this time. And they're not dead. I wonder. Yep. That'll do them. That will indeed do them. Alright. We'll take it. So, enemies are random. Sometimes. Good to know. Right, here we go. And um, I don't know... Okay, I was going to say, not 100% sure. Oh, God, run. Which way he's going to come from. Uh, we're going to... And um, we're out of puff. Come on, the bar is refilled. So it looks like, although the bar was refilled, it's still... There we go, he's gone now, I think. Yeah, he's gone. Even though the bar had refilled. Let's just try that. Let's use all of our stamina. Right. So, the bar is now refilled, but we still can't move for about another god knows how many seconds. A little bit cheap game. If you're going to have a bar like that, at least bloody skip the part where we have to, you know, have more frames of vulnerability once the bar has refilled. Does that not defeat the purpose of a bar? Or is it I who am wrong? I don't know. It's like we've got more zombies in here. That's okay. Now, how's that feel, mate? Feel a bit better? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Ah, yes. Say, so pretty sure I remember a key being in there. There's no point even fighting or shooting at Rubik because what do we have here? you can't. Uh. Stop. Number 58, test 92A, electrode placement in M33, pain region, ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7, Stop. the consent region of the neocortex. Oof. Subject imprint, only partially successful. Individual personality traits linger. So Rubik is trying to erase people's personalities. So what have we got? It's got to be about that, surely. Permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things. 
things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Mmm, that's more cello. Is that Ruvik with him? Yep. Yes, it is. So these people that we're brain probing are still alive, apparently. Curious. Sounds like we're not alone. That was weird. Hmm. Definitely not alone in here. Right, now, let's go save it. Might be an earlier episode. But we're on like 27 minutes and change by the time I edit out. The things of the failures. Oh. Look, game. I know. Alright. Now you are taking the piss. I want to use the gel. Okay. But I'm forbidden. Whatever is the matter. I'm allergic to your gel, apparently. Just let me put a fucking signature down here. And with that, guys, when we come back, um, I guess we're going to go upstairs. Yeah, I do want to keep kind of saving this one because, yeah, being chased by Ruvik is kind of bullshitty when he has, like, the touch of death, which instantly kills you and takes you back to your checkpoint, which would kind of be okay, but then the game is completely random with its enemy placements and stuff. Yeah, just going to be saving it. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.